a shave with a Gillette Slim, and a Gillette Fat Boy, coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and watch series everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back in our video. Well, this time around, I'm going to do a comparison shave. I'm going to compare the Gillette Slim adjustable razor uh, with the Gillette Fat Boy adjustable razor. Two vintage adjustable razors that Gillette made back in the late 50s, early 60s. The Slim here is from 1964. I believe this is a J3. Third quarter of 1964, if I recall that correctly. Uh, and the Fat Boy is an E1 from the first quarter of 1959. This was gifted to me by Jim of Northfield. Again, Jim, uh, thank you very, very much. Uh, gives me a wonderful opportunity to uh, compare the two, which is what I'm going to do. I'll just show you a few differences here. You can see that the adjustment colors are, are different. Different kind of setup on the adjustment colors. You can see that the Slim is just slightly longer, just slightly longer than the Fat Boy. And here's something that I mentioned in my review of the uh, Fat Boy. Uh, you can see that the Slim right here has just a slightly lower profile to the razor head, just a slightly lower profile. Can you see that? It's very, it's ever so slight. Just slightly different. Has a, you know, that, that dome there is just a little lower top of that razor. But those are uh, some of the differences. The knurling is very similar on each handle. And of course, the Fat Boy has a larger diameter, or larger diameter handle. So uh, we're going to shave with both of them. We're going to use uh, Tabak Shave Soap. Uh, boy, I love that. I got some hot water on top of the puck soaking. I'm going to use my Amac Shave Brush soaking in the sink. Those are the two elements that I used from my uh, review of the Gillette Fat Boy, so I kind of wanted to keep that consistent. Also going to use a Shash Allen Block. I'm going to finish it off with some Aqua Velva aftershave and uh, some Lubriderm for upstairs. Uh, I'm going to use a Gillette Silver Blue razor blade in each of these razors. So I'm going to go ahead and load that up right now. Get both of these razors loaded up. I'm going to open them up. Let's open up the Slim first. There it is. And let's get that uh, Silver Blue in there. Brand new blade. Okay. There it is, Gillette. And we're gonna close the doors and give it that quarter turn to lock everything in place. And it's already set at where I want. It's set at six, level six. So my first pass is gonna be at level six. So let's open up the Fat Boy here. And let's get another silver blue blade right here. Double wrapped, I like that. That's very, very nice. Okay, so here is the uh, Gillette Silver Blue. I'm gonna drop it into the Fat Boy like that. Okay, we are at six. I'm gonna close the doors, quarter turn to lock everything in place. And there it is right there at level six. All right, so all we have to do now is uh, wet the face and uh, build a ladder and get to the shave. So let's wet the face and uh, let's get to the shave. All righty. You know what? <laughs> I forgot to put the bloom water in there. I'm going to do that now and I'm just going to get another quick rinse. That helps, believe it or not. Okay, <laughs> I'm so excited to start this shave. All right, here's my AMAC synthetic brush. Gonna bring that out a little bit. Yeah, that bloom water helps. It just helps to give you a, uh, like a little bit of a pre-shave, just kind of gives you a little extra bit of slickness. And I forgot to uh, dump that water off in there. Okay, but this, I love Tabak. Tabak just, Boy, it just builds 
Such a great lather and so quickly you get a nice thick lather, great glide, beautiful scent. I love this. This is a classic old school barbershop scent. Everyone describes it that way and that's really the best way to describe it. And look, I've got, I've got so much here already. It's just creaming up. This is ready to go. My gosh, look how fast that was. And again, I think there's just something about synthetic brushes that make lathering hard shaving soaps so much easier. It builds a whole bunch of lather. And I don't have to reload the brush at any time for a three pass shave. I have more than enough lather. Look how fast. Look at that. Once I got Tabak, when I came back to one shave, once I got Tabak and a good synthetic brush, I believe it was the Vikings Blade White Knight synthetic brush, those two things really turned around my face lathering. It just, it was this easy. So if you're a beginning, if you're a beginner wet shaver and you're just beginning with the wet shave, check out Tabak, get a good synthetic brush, you can check out my videos. There's several that I've used. Vikings Blade is good. Yaki is good. DS Cosmetics. This AMAC is wonderful. A lot of nice synthetic brushes out there. Get a good one. Get one that's about 15, 20 bucks. Maybe a little more. Look at that. I'm all set. Wow. That's fantastic. Okay. So let's go with the, you know, I have to kind of do a double check here to make Make sure I know which is which. Okay, this is the slim right here. This is the fat boy. Okay, okay, good. So we're gonna start. We're gonna start with the slim at level six. I'm gonna heat that up, and I'm gonna take a couple of passes, a couple of swipes, a couple of swaths, and uh, let's see. Uh, let's see how it does. Thirty degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Nice. Nice, that's very, very nice. Nice and smooth. All right, let's heat up the uh, fat boy. And let's start on the other side to kind of compare. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That's nice too. <laughs> Let's go back to the slim here. Boy, that's that's nice. Here's the fat boy. Boy, they're real close. They're, they're real close. Fat boy. They are really, really close. Wow. I think just my, my initial impression here is that the fat boy is slightly more efficient, slightly. Let's go with that slim here. All right, I'm gonna go back to uh, the fat boy. Back to the slim. Now that lower profile head on the slim, and it is just slightly lower, just now that made a bit of a difference in getting up under the nostril, going with the grain. That did give me just a little more clearance, so to speak. And uh, with the size of my nose, <laughs> I, I need that extra clearance. So that did make a difference. Uh, that's the first pass done, let's friends. Okay. Well, the slim I started right here, and the fat boy I started right here. 
and, they, and they're about equal, although I can tell you that I think the Fat Boy is just a little smoother. We're, we'll find out again. I'm gonna switch it around. I'm gonna start with the Fat Boy on this side, going across the grain pass, and we'll see how it, uh, how it does. Again, look at how much lather I have in the brush. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to that too to generate a little more. Look at that. Absolutely marvelous. And I have to get up a little higher here because I'm doing that full head shave and I want to make sure I re remove that stubble up there. Goodbye to the sideburns, right? Look at that. Marvelous, 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 marvelous. Okay, so let's go ahead and adjust these down to level five. That's what I did on my first shave with the uh, Fat Boy. So we're gonna go ahead and open up those doors, loosen everything up, which is what you're supposed to do. Take the tension off of that spring, and we're just gonna take it down one notch to level five, okay? And then we're gonna lock that down. We're gonna do the same thing with the Slim. We're gonna open that up. Oh, look at that. Look at that, same thing happened with the, uh, the Fat Boy. Look at that, last time around. I think it's the blade in there. It just, it just kind of locks up. Let me see if I can just, might be a little cream in there that, wow. It's kind of frozen in place. Try again. Yeah, I'm gonna hold the blade like this and try and get that to pop. Wow, it's not. There it goes. Wow, that's weird. I think it's the blade. I think I think it's the size of the blade in there. That happened to the Fat Boy on my uh, on my first review with that. That's weird. So that's the Gillette Silver Blue Blade. So be aware of that if you're going to use a Gillette Silver Blue Blade on that. Okay, so we're down to five. That was weird. It happened again. Happened with the uh, the Fat Boy. You know, and then I just, you know, then started working again. I don't know, the shaving gods are telling me something. Well, you know, hey. <laughs> what do you, I, I can't explain it. That's the, like I say, the shaving gods, they're telling me something. All right, this is at level five. This is the fat boy. We're gonna go east to west across the grain. That's very, very nice at level five. Really smoothed it out from six to five, that's for sure. Okay, so here's the slim at uh, level five. Gonna go east to west across the grain this way. That was nice, that was nice and efficient. And I'm gonna grab the uh, fat boy and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna shave the same way. Kind of compare that angle and the way I'm holding it. And I'm going to do the same thing with the uh, slim on this side here. All right, with the slim, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, do this side here. All right, now with the fat boy, I'm gonna do this side. All right, so let's do the upper lip with the fat boy on this side here.
That was really nice. And let's use the slim on the other side to complete that. Okay. All right, that's the second pass done. Let's rinse. Well, I'm done. I mean, that this shave is <laughs> this shave is definitely done. But you know, just to do it, we're going to do an against the grain pass with each of these razors at level four. Well, actually, level three. Let's do level three. Turn down level three just to feel the difference in between the two of them. Okay, a quick lather. Okay, let's open this up. Hopefully, this will open up. That's the fat boy that opened right up. Okay. All right, and then let's, right there. So we're at three on the fat boy. And with the slim, let's see if that slim opens up. Yeah, just barely. It, you hear it pop? Something going on with that blade. Might be, might be the size of the blade. Let's go down to three, like that. And then close it and lock it in place. And then make sure this one's locked in place. Yes, it is. And then we're going to go with the Fat Boy uh, South to North Against the Grain. Okay, let's go to the Slim right now. Yeah, this is telling me a little more of what my initial reaction is. Okay, let's go back to the fat boy. Here's the slim. Fat boy. Slim. Fat boy. And gotta do the chin with the fat boy. And I'm gonna finish up with the fat boy. Okay, third pass done with the Slim and the Fat Boy. Let's rinse. Oh boy, that was nice. That was really nice shave, but I've already, I already know who the winner is. Uh, I'm gonna rinse, I'm gonna drain my sink here and I'm gonna do my two final rinses. And we'll get to the final verdict here after I do my two final rinses and uh, do my post shave. Okay, here's my warm water rinse to get this slickness off. Hey, three splashes, that's all I needed. Yeah, very nice. I'm gonna turn it to my uh, cold setting and do my cold water rinse just waiting for it to yeah it's cold yeah nice okay here's my cold water rinse to close my pores ah did one extra splash very very nice okay clean fresh towel waiting for me here boy that was a great shave that was wonderful.
Very nice. Well, we're going to use a Shash Allen block here and get some feedback, even though I'm using two different razors. I'm, it's non-scientific. I'm not going to know which one, which area, if I get a zing or a sting from it, is the fat boy, which is the slim. But overall, we'll just put this on. We'll just apply the alum. See how the overall shave went. And it's smooth. Smooth as ice. Wow, that's nice. A little bit of water on there like that. Yeah, some of you might wonder why I'm running the water while I'm using the alum block. Uh, sometimes you just have to dip it back in there. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I know it's force of habit. Some of you might be saying, why is he running the water? I know. I gotta should conserve a little more. I understand. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna set this in my let's wipe that out a little bit in my dish like that let that air dry overnight i'm going to mop up here a little bit and i'll be right back to finish the shave and give you my final decision between the slim and the fat boy hang in there with me okay i had to do a little mop up here because switching between razors was eh, a little more water on the counter than I wanted and I want to clean the brush up and again this AMAC brush just <laughs> cleans up so wonderfully well. Just really, really very, very nice. Boy, it did a great, great job. I, I really, really enjoy using this brush and it fits uh, very nicely on my Vikings Blade Admiral stainless steel razor and brush stand. So, see that? I'll show it to you again just in case it was too fast. There. So yeah. Really nice. Terrific. like that a lot. Aqua Velva. I haven't used this in a while. This, I like this because it gives a really nice brace. So we're going to put some on there like that. Oh, I got a goodly amount there. And the nice thing about Tabak is any aftershave splash uh, complements it. It's got that you know, if you get a classic aftershave like uh, Aqua Velva, boy, that's kicking in. Boy, <laughs> that's nice. Classic ice blue. That's got a really nice brace and a really nice... I think there's a little menthol in there. Firms and Tones is what it says. Let me see. Is there any menthol in there? Ingredients, da, 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 glycerin, fragrance, menthol. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. Wow, that's a, whew, that's a nice kick. Boy, that's terrific. That's really nice. But as I was saying, Tabak, uh, you can use just about any aftershave with it. Um, you know, the, 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 it's got that classic barbershop scent that doesn't linger too much after your shave, so you can use anything. Anything goes with it. I use Pinot, I use uh, uh, Aqua Velva, uh, Avon Wild Country, Skin Bracer, they all, they all are great. A little bit of lubriderm for upstairs and around. Okay. Boy, that was a great shave with two great classic vintage razors. The, uh, the Gillette Slim and the Gillette Fat Boy. Now, which one won this contest? Uh, you know what? Clearly, it was the Fat Boy. The Fat Boy was the winner. Uh, it was smoother. It was more efficient. The Slim is very, very good. I get great shaves with the Slim. And uh, had I not been given a Fat Boy by Jim of Northfield, I doubt that I would have ever known the difference between the Slim and the Fat Boy. I thought I would think that this was the pinnacle of shaves from Gillette Adjustables. But boy, this Fat Boy. Now I know why so many wet shavers out there love this razor. It is, it feels great in the hand. It just seems to be the right size. It has a nice smoothness, yet high efficiency to where you get a wonderful, wonderful shave. Look, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation, 
absolutely wonderful. But that's with both razors, the Slim and the Fat Boy. Now, I like the Slim a lot, but when you put the Fat Boy in your hand, it, it's, it's like night and day. The Slim gave me a really good shave when I first used it, and I liked it a lot. But there's a wow factor with the Gillette Fat Boy. Maybe because they only made so many, and uh, it's prized among wet shavers, and it has that kind of cachet to it. Uh, that could be part of it. Um, but uh, I think the larger diameter handle helps. Uh, I just think that the, the is again, the overall weight and balance and feel makes for a really, really terrific shave. Slim is very, very good, but I have to give the edge to the Fat Boy. This is more efficient, it is smoother, and uh, you know, I like it. If I'm going, if I have these two side by side, I'm going to reach for, for one, I'm going to reach for the Fat Boy. I mean, I'm going to break up the monotony every once in a while and use the Slim. The Slim is nice, but yeah, this Fat Boy, <laughs> this, this is terrific. I don't know why they stopped making this. I really don't know why. If you know, comment below and, 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 and let me know. I think they made it for three or four years. I think 58, 59, 16, I think into 61. I'm not sure, but if you know the history of that also, please share it below in the comment section because I'm really interested. Uh, terrific, terrific razor. Also a terrific, terrific razor, but this fat boy, yeah, I, I know why wet shavers love this razor so much. It gets the call, but yeah, I'll be shaving with my Slim uh, down the road as well. This is not going to be thrown on the dustbin because I like this a lot. Now, um, you know, Slims are plentiful. You can get a lot of Slims. So if you want to get something close to a Fat Boy shave, you know, get a Slim. You'll probably get it at a better price than a Fat Boy. That's a very, very good choice to start in with a vintage adjustable razor, the Slim. Uh, if you have a chance to uh, get a Fat Boy, get both. Uh, both of them are great. You can compare the shaves for yourself. Your mileage may vary, as they say, but yeah, the Fat Boy, uh, this is the winner. Hey, thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comics with George, other cartoons, other videos like this. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Radio where you'll find all the products I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.